What's up everybody? It's the one, the only, the Phenome, and welcome to part 8 of my StarCraft Remastered campaign playthrough video series. Now, let's go to the campaign screen, and uh, through that we will find out that the last mission we did was New Gettysburg, which was number 9, and, uh, well, effectively it was a cork in the bottle kind of action, because the Protoss uh, had arrived on Tarsonis to clear out the Zerg. As they, ha <coughs> as they had beforehand with all the previous, um, uh, all the previous Zerg-infested planets. However, Arcturus Mengsk was concerned that uh, the Confederates might escape in the commotion, because they hadn't all gone down yet. And he sent Kerrigan in with uh, a force to stop the Protoss from attacking the Zerg, and uh, uh, yeah, ba basically let the Zerg finish the job of killing all the confederates. Uh, and, and there the famous scene played out that um, Kerrigan was basically left for dead. Like, Manx took his forces away, and since he had... Um, I think who did he have on, his sh on the ship? I think he had Raynor as well. And uh, yeah, I guess, I guess it was only Raynor, yeah, from the senior commanders, sort of, because Duke is completely under... Uh, Meng's thumb, and you know, we can discount that. But yeah, he took the ship away with Rainer so Rainer couldn't go help her, and that's how Kerrigan went down. That's how she was lost in the Zerg tide that washed over the base. You, that you might have, that you saw in the end of the New Gettysburg mission. Now, though, we will continue on with mission number 10 the Hammer Falls. contact with the ground forces at New Gettysburg. General Minsk has ordered the immediate disengagement of the Core Hall fleet from the Tarsonian system. Protoss and Zerg forces continue to battle across the core continent of Tarsonis, receiving incoming transmission. I can't believe he actually left her down there. I'm gone, and you better come with me. There's no telling who our drills will screw over next. Receiving incoming transmission. Sacrificed Kerrigan? You'll regret that. You don't seem to realize my situation here. I will not be stopped. Not by you, or the Confederates, or the Protoss, or anyone. I will rule this sector, or see it burn to ashes around me. If you try to get... The fleet right is prepped and ready, Commander. Awaiting orders. The hell with him. We're gone. It appears that General Duke has successfully activated Tarsonis' primary defensive weapon, the Ion Cannon. The cannon must be shut down if any escape attempt is to be made. Looks like that's what we're going after. So, destroy the Ion Cannon and Rainer must survive. I think I remember this mission quite well. There's nothing you can do now, Jim. All we can do now is just, uh, you know, fight back and uh, hope that we can bring Manx down. All right, uh, Jimmy. Let's check out the area we have for our base. That's everything. Now, remembering what I do from this mission, because I did get this far in the campaign, obviously. I did complete the entire original campaign. This is the Ion Cannon, our target for today. Now we get plenty of resources at the start, at least it looks that way. Uh, we get plenty of resources, and um, yeah, this is uh, 
the attacks on the base will be pretty uh, pretty consistent. So the first priority is to set up good defenses. And that will include stealth detection, because unfortunately we are fighting against Terrans, and that'll mean ghosts with nukes. Oh, really? Really, you little marine shit. Huh, frag grenades, one-shot marines, that's interesting. So 30... Huh. Alright, that's weird. I'll leave this vulture there to check if any other shenanigans is going on. Oh, hello. Oh, no, 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 no. How do I detect them? I can't build that because I don't have an engineering bay. And I can't build that because there's an academy. Come on. Go build it. So I'm gonna lose a siege tank just because of this crap. We can't build an academy because I don't have any barracks. Great. No, 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 no! Crap, Jimmy's dead. Yep, Rainer has been killed. I know. Okay. Yeah, that was a, a bit of a failure. <laughs> on my part. There we go. Just as I mentioned about uh, the line about ghosts, they came to attack me. Alright, this time I'm not going to make the mistake, so engineering bay right off the bat. Engineering bay and racks. Go forward, boys. Should be. There we go. Can build there. You go and mine some minerals for me. So we have two, a couple of fire bats. We have two eight-man squads of marines. We have a couple of siege tanks, two vultures, one Jimmy vulture and one normal vulture. Beautiful. Orders received. Affirmative. So bunker requires barracks. So I'll build up a missile turret there. Racks are on the way. This guy is up, so you will build me a supply depot. Meanwhile, this turret is almost complete. Yep, gonna need more minerals. Let's put that missile turret down. You can go and mine some minerals for me. Build me another depot. Ah, oh, crap. Get him! Prepare Jimmy. Thank you. Alright, more 
CVs. You. Build me a bunker. Crap, I'll still need the machine shop to... Um, to get siege mode for my tanks. Which is annoying. Yeah, I'll get a load of SCVs, though I think an expansion will also be needed. Actually, since there aren't any, um, since we're fighting Terrans, we're gonna need the range units. Actually, drop the bunker here, in a bit more precarious position, but I'm hoping that the missile turrets will detect ghosts if they come into close proximity. Oh, hello. Alright, that should be enough guys on minerals. I'll get a couple more for gas. And then I can start building up. So actually I'll get one extra. Yeah, I'll need one builder SCV. That's what you're gonna be doing. get a factory up and hopefully tanks won't get stuck on anything here okay that's finished so I'll take these marines send them in here And considering what I remember as well, I'll build a string of missile turrets here, because I know that they like to do flybys. The enemies, that is. Like, they like to send in wraiths here. And since these have stealth detection as well, that's gonna be another boon for us. And I think I'll strategically place siege tanks as well, just in case there are any drops being done. Keep building them, bro. Might make a couple bunkers. So yeah, this is again, uh, this is gonna be a slow one. Like, I'll be building up first to make sure my base doesn't get wrecked. And then I'll uh, move out. Right. Let's get the spaceport up, or starport, or whatever. Starport, there we go. Let's hope siege tanks will be able to maneuver their way out of here. Right. Should be good on gas now. Huh, I can get one more. I need one more SCV for perfect. Uh, um, for perfect harvesting of Vespine. Siege tech. Siege mode, rather. As you can see, machine war uh, machine shops working nicely. Let's get to building that missile turret. Then here, in this gap, I should be able to deal with uh, anything that comes through. I mean, they'll have to attack these, regardless. Not enough Vespine again. I mean, even four doesn't seem... Well, no, actually, it does seem efficient enough. Can you get out of there, buddy? Good. Control tower. So we're gonna still go battle cruisers and tanks. Because that is the most efficient way to go. Drop an armory. So, yeah, I'll, I'll try and build all my tech buildings before... Uh, yeah, build all my tech buildings before uh, actually going into the units, unit production. So we haven't seen that ghost attack. 
That means I guess I aggroed something over here, and that sort of uh, sent that ghost looking for going for us. All right, siege tech has been researched, so you can come here. And I'll put you down here. And I'll have a select uh, amount of rates um, defending the base as well. Just so Jimmy doesn't go down uh, in a retarded way like he did in, in my uh, previous attempt. Alright, so I need attached control tower and science facility with attached physics lab. So, science facility is on the I key for some reason. Academy is almost complete. Oh, I actually have some marines as well. I can help with the defense. I think the attacks mostly will come on this side. Depots and increase marine range, of course. It's kind of like a mandatory thing almost. Okay, then, let's start producing and let's start scouting. We'll get the commsat station up. That will hinder my gas production a little bit. They're going to be going in awkward angles now. Although, no, it doesn't look that bad. Should be fine. More, um, Ready to roll out. more gas, please. No, not gas. More depots. Comsat station's complete. So that's what we're seeing here. Nothing interesting. I think that was a ghost. I think that might have been a ghost, and uh, I'll need more defenses here for sure. All right, so there's another tank. Get over there. There's another ramp. Don't be dumb. this. I'll actually get another SCV out. Oh, right. Uh, build physics lab. Of course I can't do it there. I can't do that there. Let's see, maybe I can do that there. Yes, I can. Build me a depot. So yeah, I'll slowly float the Science whistle over there. Oh, there's another SCV here. Whoops. Right, I guess you can go back to mining. No, actually, you you can start building me some depots as well. Put me one up there where there is extra space. <coughs> In the meanwhile, ship weapons. I'll throw down the racks here. So I have an area to build depots in. So the first attacking tank is out. These should deal with the defense <coughs> well enough, I think. Alright, you. I'll need another armory. Just so I can uh, pump out the upgrades. Come on, where's the gas? Copy. 
Well, let's see how much space that takes up. Alright, tanks just keep pumping. Battle cruisers are available now. Though, I'm not sure I'll be able to get them that quickly. Alright, I need to scout for more from uh, an expansion opportunity. So there's guys here. There's another guy up there. So, first, first thing that I need to do is establish a presence up top. How much again for the battle cruiser? 400 and 300. Yikes. That's expensive. That's so, so expensive. Now, since all of those are marines, I think I'll just gather a bunch of tanks and drive them up here. Though, I think I'll get one battle cruiser purely for, like, uh, air vision. Because they have a very good vision range. And obviously flying over obstacles is huge. So there we go. That's gonna be the first bow cruiser. <sighs> right, you. Can you get out of there? No, you cannot. So I'll let you out that way. Ah, I actually left the gap. That's why uh, that was so awkward. Insufficient oh, crap. Alright, I'll continue on with the production instead. So, battle cruiser should be coming out soon. Right. Comsat station has enough energy to do another scan, so let's see. Ah! There's some wraiths. Starboard. Done with that. Bit of damage on the tanks, but uh, nothing an SCV can't repair. Another tank is up. Good. Keep producing those. Oh, I produced science missiles from the starboard as well. I'm forgetting about that. Alright, I need to get on these upgrades. So, vehicle weapons, let's go. Unfortunately, no, no upgrades are available that would just do, you know... Um, that would just use minerals. I mean, that would be a bit too easy, of course, but still. Wouldn't mind having that. Right, now... Four tanks. We have massive field of vision. Let's start seeing what we can see. Make it happen. Take it slow. The important thing will be uh set the course. Being careful when coming up against uh, large amounts of wraiths, because they can tear apart the battle cruiser pretty quickly, and he doesn't have any uh, mobility abilities. So, I'll save up for another cru battle cruiser. There's another tank. Science vessel as well. Just so I have detection. Yes, Unfortunately, I'll have to postpone the battle cruiser because of that. You know what? I'll spam out some marines. I can afford to do that in this mission. Yes, That'll be my deterrent in case things get hairy. Order. 
So let's drive up here and check out with the commsat station what's up here. Okay, looks like that is a base. Right, I'll need to go through this area. Good day, Commander. Destination movie. Alright, I guess I can deal with that with this without setting up. Hmm, they took a lot of damage. Considering those are just marines. Explore reporting. Ooh, you're fast. That bell cruiser. I'll get another barracks because why not? You repair this tank. You keep building depots. Another tank, please. And believe me, I am aware that this is not very quickly. <laughs> Alright, you set up in case they decide to uh, send in the troops. There's something obscuring, obscuring the path, so go figure. Alright, supplies going up. next battle cruiser as well. So I have three. That's gonna be, I think, a good enough force to defend against any wraith attacks uh, in, that uh, the enemy team, that the enemy might do. So we're setting up this bit of ambush. So you can see there's that marine. That might trigger an attack by the enemy. So we'll try and do that. Hmm. Not a good enough trigger uh, <coughs> in the end because the enemy, uh, there are no other enemies coming up. So let's see if the battle cruisers can find them. Take it slow. Uh, greetings, you stay there. Take it slow. Make it happen. Set the course. Anything else I can find here? Make it happen. You want a piece of me, boy? Set the course. Set the course. Uh, does that the MP? That was an EMP. Uh oh. Alright, I need an SCV here. Because that kind of worked, but I need to repair uh, my bow cruisers now. So you go up here. Ah, <coughs> oh, nice. Another one. You add unit 2, you add unit 1. 
Wait, what was that? Cruiser. Who's that SCV? Crying out loud. Ah, there it is. This has been repaired. Now repair this. Now I have to increase the number of tanks I have. And uh, after that, I think we can go on the offensive. Like, properly offensive. I think I can leave the entirety of the right side of the map open because at least at the moment it doesn't look like that path leads to the ion cannon so we'll ri get rid of this base of, the, of which there is a lot like there's a huge base here and there's a huge base here however all right so it's ah uh, but I, I'm certain that I won't be able to just make drops into this area I'll need to go through the forces and, uh, you know, deal with them. Which is fine. You, repair this. Cool, more tanks. That's eight tanks. When I'll get ten, then I'll commence with the attack. Then I can start planning out my expansion building uh, program. I have a load of marines here, which I'll continue to build up. That's another bow cruiser. Come on. There it is. Get over here. And there's another tank. You two, get up here. Forces are coming through. Now I'm starting to run out of minerals and space in this area. So definitely need to find we'll definitely need to get on with that expansion. So, since I have the necessary amount of tanks, I'll start building up the ship weapons. And by the time I'll be done with that operation, um, I should have a large stockpile of resources, and then I can move on with other uh, with uh, the next part of the mission, which is pushing out beyond this bridge. At the moment, that bridge is the threshold. At least for me. Right, where's that tank? Tank's up there already. Cool. So, let's head out. Good day, Set the course. Let's head down here. You want a piece of me, boy? Order, sir. So, I'll start from this area. There's a marine. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Get back, get back. Alright, SCV, get down here. I really hate this area with these freaking fan things or whatever that is. Alright, get over here, repair this. They have vision on me, though. Right, definitely 
need to get to repairs. Where's that SCV? Actually, you get over here. Oh, that was a few rockets. Oh wow, look at all these decoys. Oh yeah. Let's send in the Marines. Whoa, I lost... Great. I lost two tanks. Right. Ah, they're attacking on the side. Okay. Right. Oh, Science Vessel actually took a hit as well. Oh my god, that's a large amount of tanks. How did they take out my... Oh, and I lost my um, science vessel as well because I flew it into missile turrets. Genius. You imbecile, find your way up a ramp. Thank you. Oh no, wait, I didn't lose my science vessel. Cool. Receiving transmission. Forces are under attack. Hailing frequencies will make it happen. Receiving transmission. Your forces are under attack. Take it slow. Your forces are under attack. Oh, come on, get back. Yeah, my control has gone to complete crap. Where? Cruiser, please. Oh, come on! How did they do that? <sighs> Everything's falling to shit now. Really? are up. Tanks are still coming out. So, the CV's gonna send you out there. Proper control of this area. Yes, 
And since there aren't any permanently stealth units, the only ones who have those are Protoss. I'm probably going to be dealing with this crap the entire game. And the thing is, I think in this game, once the nuclear launch has been, you know, done, you can't stop the nuke. Rally those marines into the new area. Alright, that's 12 tanks, full battalion. Hopefully, I won't lose any of these. Losses have been plentiful enough already. First ones are getting repaired. Alright, got some marines now. Let's clean up this, these last buildings. And we'll see in the process if there are any rates left here. Let's clean up the uh, missile turrets so bow cruisers can help with the cleanup. Hey guys, how are you doing? Should have another one. Yep. There's another battle cruiser. All right, Comsat station should be way full on energy. All right, so there we can see this area being protected. Missile turrets and the, all the usual stuff. So you can't do drops in that area. send in a couple more tanks. At least I'm hoping that this side can't get attacked anymore, so I'll send these tanks in to defend. sound, I think that something's under attack. You, get over here, start mining. And you, get over here and get on that gas. And that's just an empty area. This tank is lost. I don't know 
know how I aggroed that major force from the Delta Squadron or whatever, the Alpha Squadron rather, which I'm assuming is the white ones. Yeah, these guys will let me know if that there's stuff going down. Alright, this path doesn't lead anywhere it seems. I think this might be an isolated platform in general. I'm just trying to remember now. Alright, you get over here. Oh, I had a bunch of... Oh yeah, that's the same bunch of greens. Cool, cool. You get over here, you're gonna be defending. Build this missile turret. Yep, vehicle weapons, and ship weapons, and infantry weapons. All sorts of weapons. We'll even research the Yamato cannon. Oh, even this got hit? Really? That's some range then. Right Gonna repair the science vessel, please. Someone's lost over here. Nope, that's another tank. Must mean guys are depleted. Okay. Yes, sir. Roger that. So you guys get over here and get to mining. Right, I think, yeah, there is the, uh, well, is there the optimum number? Yeah, I guess it is. Oh, another expansion. Interesting. Give me a bit more energy, please. Oh, there's Geyser. With a bit of distance, actually. So yeah, that's another base. But I don't think I'll need it. Now, I think I might need to just spam dropships. Because a drop is possible. It's just gonna be a bit more tricky. Build me a missile turret up there so I have vision. There is an SCV here. Build another starport. Alright, that guy's gonna stay there. Oh, any more free SCVs? I wish there was that free SCV button. Can I take your order? Yep, dropship's coming out. Yamato cannon has been researched. Might as well. No, Colossus Reactor actually won't help because uh, those EMPs, they're pretty, uh, pretty annoying. Take it slow. Healing frequencies open. Engage. Set the course. Are right, you done here? Good. Can repair these uh, air units now. Meanwhile, next to, uh, starport should be up. Can I take your order? Yep, nothing to see there then. Oh boy, this would be a fun base to attack. Not. Alright, control tower. You can help repair these. So I'll definitely need scans again on <coughs> that territory. I need to see where tanks are. <coughs> right. I think I'll need more marines. Right, how are the repairs going here? Good, bow cruisers are looking healthier. Let's 
Let's get on high ground, just in case. I mean, really high ground, high ground advantage is negated here because you get vision of high ground if someone attacks you from it. More battle cruisers, please. Set these guys down here. Oh, hello. Receiving transmission. Good thing I repaired it because it took more damage than I repaired. Excellent. That was lucky timing. I don't want to lose battle cruisers. That's for sure. Like, that would be really annoying. Oh come on, really? Still needs more gas. <clears throat> One, one more. Alright, now one more, just to be safe. So the repair doesn't turn off. Yeah, that was the white army attacking, but I guess there are no more red bases left out here. There's another expansion? Really? Come on. Yeah, there's a geyser as well. So there are plenty of expansions to take in this mission. Oh no, where? Where, where, where? <sighs> Crying out loud. Come on, give it to me. Okay, I'm cool with that, you know. <laughs> you can you can nuke that place all you want. I'll just rebuild that missile tower. Receiving transmission. Repair this. So there are only marines here. Like, if I manage to do a tank drop here, without notifying this missile turret, set up, then start attacking, I should be in a pretty good position. Cool. We're done with that. Good day, Commander. Take it slow. More dropships. And I have seven battle cruisers now. Hey! Alright. Oh, did they just EMP? Whatever. Yeah, I know I'm being played here like a freaking scrub, but I'm just not good enough, I guess. Come on, I thought I could make more Marines. But now that those attacks are done... Oh, come on! He's 
Can you stop attacking me? You scrubs. Oh, what's that sound? Oh, I think that's the awesome repair people doing their thing again, being noisy. Go tank mode, please. All crews Identify target destination. Well, I see anyone else here. Yes, sir. It needs more depots. Unfortunately, these units here are busy repairing all the time. That's so why I can't even build depots with them. Alright, you move on to the next one. Yeah, actually I can build depots here. Good. That's working out. So we'll start spamming out again as soon as they're done. Get repairing. I need to make this drop ASAP, so I have seven drop ships. Seven drop ships. <coughs> now I'm starting to think maybe I use this mass of marines purely for defense. Just to make sure my expansion doesn't go down. Meanwhile, I use the battle cruisers and the tanks to clear out the uh, ion cannon. Let's see again, how much health does it have? Two thousand, so it won't be a quick fix, so to speak. Deeper weapons level three and ship plating level two. Take those. Actually, you get as much gas as you can. I know that the pleated ones give two gas a pop. Yep, that's going to be more than nothing. I can tell you that much, and I'm not too. Uh, I'm not doing too badly for minerals. As you can see, I am doing bad for gas, though. So I'll have this assault squad. Get him into a dropship. Actually, I'll get these guys, plus these guys. So I'll have two dropships with marines. I don't even need one. Cool. Alright, cool. Got my dropship fleet. Repair up the science vessel. In case I'll keep this one dropship behind. If I need to drop reinforcements, go ahead, HQ. 
Oh great, that geyser's been depleted as well. I guess that's uh, kind of like a sign that it's go time. Alright. So that's a marine dropship, that's a marine dropship. Receiving transmission. Transmit orders. Report for duty. Build there. I read you. You guys get to building. Secure this against. Try and secure that as much as you can against any air attacks. Oh, great! I don't mind that. All crews reporting. Healing frequency is open. Make it happen. So they're draining all the energy from my stuff. You know, guys, I would be worried about that if I actually cared. In transit, HQ. Receiving transmission. Activity here. Make it slow. Set the course. Destination. All right. Go ahead. Receiving transmission. I am being cautious. I wouldn't have been surprised if he would try to drop a new comedy, because you know how those bastards are. Oh, yeah, he likes his nukes. Alright, tanks move up. Trying to get them. Are these the ones with the marines? Yep. Alright, time to send in the meat. Uh oh, get him! He's gonna get another shot off. That fucking defense matrix. Alright. What was that? 
Uh, I think that might have been a ghost. Oh, we won. Cool. This did take a long time. How long did it take? 58 minutes! Jesus! Wow, that was a lot. Okay. So, um... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect it to take that long, but, um, yeah. We did defeat the Alpha Squadron and the Elite Guard of the Sons of Core Hall. I was expecting uh, General Duke himself to be there, but, uh, as it turns out, wasn't there. So, yeah, I'm actually gonna permit myself to look at what happens next now. I come to you in the wake of recent events to issue a call to reason. Let no human deny the perils of our time. While we battle one another, divided by the petty strife of our common history, the tide of a greater conflict is turning against us, threatening to destroy all that we have accomplished. It is time for us as nations and as individuals to set aside our long-standing feuds and unite. The tides of an unwinnable war are upon us, and we must seek refuge upon higher ground lest we be swept away by the flood. The Confederacy is no more. Whatever semblance of unity and protection it once provided is a phantom, a memory. With our enemies left unchecked, who will you turn to for protection? The devastation wrought by the alien invaders is self-evident. We have seen our homes and communities destroyed by the calculated blows of the Protoss. We have seen firsthand our friends and loved ones consumed by the nightmare sir. Unprecedented and unimaginable though they may be, these are the signs of our time. The time has come, my fellow Terrans, to rally to a new banner. In unity lies strength. Already many of the dissident factions have joined us. Out of the many, we shall forge an indivisible whole, capitulating only to a single throne. And from that throne, I shall watch over you. From this day forward, let no human make war upon any other human. Let no Terran agency conspire against this new beginning. And let no man consort with alien powers. And to all the enemies of humanity, seek not to bar our way. For we shall win through, no matter the cost. So that is the Terran campaign completed, and now the Zerg campaign is available to us, and we'll start that up in the next video. But for today, that's gonna be it then. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you leave a like or a comment, that would be much appreciated. And also don't forget that the channel has Twitter and Facebook pages. Check them out. The links to those can be found in the description of this video. As well as a link to my Twitch channel, where I will be streaming on weekday evenings. And if you're interested in that, then there's a description and a uh, schedule on... Well, approximate schedule on my uh, Twitch page. And also, uh, I will be posting on Twitter every time I'll go live. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it then. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.